You're a jerk. Alright, I think I'm ready to... You know, that's a good look, actually. I think you could go about your day like that. Away. Where is he? Yeah. I feel like he's... What are you trying to do, dude? He's reaching into your mind. Hmm? Huh? time. Video time, baby. Oh, look who it is. How's it going, YouTube? Who the hell is this? Good to be back. Good to have you back! The prodigal <laughs> son has returned! Oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Jacob is back. He's returned. I'm very happy. <laughs> Tonight, we will have a celebration and a sacrifice oh, yes. <laughs> for you, Jake. How is everybody doing? How the hell are you? I'm tired on. This is Jake Stoltz. Welcome to the freaking show. So, today, Jake hasn't been here in a while. I have not. I've been Ronified. In the, yeah, for real. Corona. God, Corona, man. I hate me lock up, This lock world up. is crazy. We live in a crazy world. Everything is just like, What's insane. Next? We need a camera girl, though. Jake did not come here to work the camera. Jake came here because we were going to clean some freaking cages today. He hasn't been here in a while. I haven't seen any of this. A little yet. rusty. Yeah, you're... False water cobra down there needs some attention. We gotta oh, change his light bulb. Yeah, that's Jake's snake. He's getting huge. Have you seen that? When no, was the last I time you saw that snake? Bro, wait till you see like how big that when false all water shit is. Went down. He's huge. Yeah. So eventually, once Jake gets his first permit, that's been his for a while. Working it's up. just been sitting here. I had that snake since it was a baby. Mm -hmm. I even gave it to you when it was a baby. Yeah. <laughs> I still have it. Anyways. We need the camera girl. Where's the camera girl? I think she's playing with the kitten. Let's go find it. Oh, there she is. Look at that. It's protecting her from me. Rafi, you protecting her from me? I'm not gonna do nothing. He's like, don't touch my baby. That's my baby kitten. Um, would you like to come control the camera for me? I'd like to put in my cat, but I guess I could. We need a camera girl. Olive, go film. Come on, Olive, you ready? <laughs> oh, she is a cutie, right? Oh my god. Such a cute little kitty. We're gonna do a video on the cat soon, but not today. Today, snakes, baby, <laughs> right? We're gonna go mess with some snakes, Taruk. I'll see you later. First things first, Kilo. I miss, I miss him so much. Yeah, you haven't seen Kilo in a while, right? Yeah. I think that last time, you were here. Uh, he just started eating. Oh, like, he did yeah. just start eating? He just started eating. Okay, well, yeah, he's been eating very well. Dude, every, like, every few days. Oh, look at this boy. Hey, bro. Wake up. Come on, you gonna wake up for me? Come on. You gonna be a cobra today? Huh? You gonna be a cobra? You gonna be a Kobe? Let's play a game. Corn snake or cobra? <laughs> he got some, he's got some shed on him right now. See that on his hood? Mm. Got some shed stuck to your head there, bro. Hey, man. How are you? He's definitely put on a little weight since I saw him last. Yeah, time. he's looking good. I mean, he never really actually got, uh, he was never really looking skinny. Yeah, he always Thankfully. maintained his size. Yeah, he definitely he just looks more muscular his now. size very well. But he definitely, uh... He's definitely putting on some weight. Enough of that. Kilo just wants to be nice today. And I hear you got him a future girlfriend too. Oh, I did. Let's clean his cage and I will show you her right now. It is filthy. So let's get this clean. I'm just gonna spray his cage down. That way I just give him some moisture. That way he can rub on the, rub on this paper and get that skin off. 
You want to practice putting him back in the cage? It's yeah, been a definitely. minute. Definitely. Put him back in here. Put you down like this. Grab a hook. Wow. And Jake is going to put Kilo away. There you go. See? Move the glass okay. over. Make sure you can close it safely. See so here, go in midsection just like that. Perfect. Boom. Bottom first. Head first. Put him right in his home. Right there. Give him a little tail jiggle. There you go, bud. Happy home. He's such a chill snake. I got ten, bud. Oop, bada boom! Like a glove. Like a glove. Good job, you survived. <laughs> Next. Get a little spray down. <laughs> Here you go, bro. Give you a little bit of moisture. Get rid of that stuck shed. You'll be fine. All right, so this little cobra, he's got a pretty clean cage, honestly. Like, he hasn't pooped anywhere. He just pooped in his water bowl, which is gross. But it's honestly a little bit easier That's when they poop in their water bowl, because then all you gotta do is change their water out. So, thanks, Mr. Cobra. The kilo in his cage. This is why I moved him into this black vision, just because he's the the whiteness of him and the darkness of the cage and everything, he just stands out so much. It's such a cool, such a cool cobra. All right, while Jake is giving him a new water, let's just say it's up to this guy. Hey, man. Jesus, would you freaking relax? He literally hit, you see, a little bit of, a little bit of spit on my hand right there. He literally touched me. I love this snake though. He's so much fun to mess with. Come on. Come here. You're not that big and bad. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you see him? You see him? He's like, yo, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Look how big he is getting, dude. He is. Like, I feel like he's even bigger than he was in the last video that I put him in, which was only a couple weeks ago. Dude, look at this. <laughs> this thing is <laughs> mad. Like, look how got sick. Some size on him. Bro, right? Like, what? Dude, he is a massive, massive snake. He's just gonna get bigger. Like, he's only two years old. Like, dude. Right? Beautiful. And I loved how his, his red is getting even more prominent dude. on his chin there, too. I'm gonna love this thing. He's one of my favorite snakes, for sure. Not only is he just beautiful, but I can take him out. And I can hold him like this, and I don't have to worry about dying. You know? That's the really cool part. <laughs> it's always fun having snakes that you can handle. And just take out and let them crawl all over you. Super tight. I think he's... he's How's his cage? I just I spot cleaned some stuff spot just now. Not too yeah. bad over here. Let's just give it a little fluff, you know? Some I like the fluff to give the cages fresh fluffs. Oh, I'm getting the string all up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's see here. I think I'm ready to... You know, that's a good look, like actually. I think you could go about your day like that. Away. Where is he? Yeah. Feels like he's... What are you trying to do, dude? He's reaching into your mind. Hmm? <laughs> Crazy snake. Go in your cage. Go that way. Is he in there? He's trying. Ah, oh, you're taking my head off. Wrong way, dude. There you go. Oh! Man! Beautiful. Oh, I love that freaking snake, dude. So cool. So defensive in his cage. I honestly really like it. It's cool. It's cool making them come out after you. Absolutely. Almost yeah. guarantee you. it's cool. It's nice though when you take them out, he's like, oh, I guess it's okay. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> Big puppy dog. Who's All next? All right. Who is next? The spectacle, which I will take out. Honestly, oh, yeah. The speck, it just has some little poop in that back corner. That's about it. This guy's a little crazy, so I will do this guy. Um, newsflash for you guys um this guy hit me up the other day actually when i posted that video about getting that female spec he emailed me and he's like hey man he's like he lives in lakes lakeland florida which is only a couple hours away from here he has another female spectacle that has like a yellow hood she's super super pretty Ooh, yeah she's Laura. apparently she's 44 inches long 
and he wants to trade her for a couple baby squams. So obviously you guys know I got like five squams. So I'm gonna trade out a couple squams for the new spectacle. So stay tuned for that. Oh, yeah. Hopefully that'll happen this week. I told him I'm off today and on uh, Thursday. So one of those days it should happen. I'm really excited too. She's a pretty, pretty yeah. spectacle. And Especially that, when they got that blonde room too. Yeah, he's so I can't really work with this snake too much. He just tries to bite me and he's super mean and super flighty. This uh, spectacle in here, she's chill. She doesn't really care about anything. She doesn't hood up or anything. She's just like, she's like Kilo, except Kilo hoods a lot more. Um, but this new one apparently is a very good hooder. The guy says that she hoods all the time. She stands at, she stands up like perfectly. So hopefully she'll be the one. And I already think I know what I want to name her too. So yeah. Stay tuned. It's Ooh. a secret. She yeah. yeah, he's a really pretty snake. He's a jerk, dude. He's just such a bitey, flighty. He's thick though, dude. Look how thick yeah. this freaking snake is. And he eats all the time. But he just doesn't really ever like hood up. He's hooded up a couple times, like with yeah. Chandler. I did a couple episodes of Chandler with him, and he hooded right up. But for the most part, he's not really, he's not really a crazy hooding snake. Really pretty though. Like look at the hood on that comb. Yeah. Like dude, there ain't nothing like a spectacle. He stays low. He's like ready to go. Yeah, sometimes he comes up high and he's a little he's a little crazy, but he's not too he's not being too bad today. Definitely a bad bite for sure. He's fast. You gotta oh, watch out. He's got little energy spurts. And he'll he'll come after you. Well Alright, buddy. Let's get you back in your cage. You'll be nice and happy. I don't need to take you too much. In you go, bud. There you go. Nice clean cage for ya. Cool. Goes around and tries to jet out the other side. <laughs> um, so what do you think about, uh, you think you can handle this bad boy? Yeah. Down so. here? Definitely. It's pretty yeah. good cobra to work with. Yeah. He has his good days and his bad days. <laughs> yeah. There's more good than bad. <laughs> So let's um, let's put the trash can right here, so that way our viewers can see how this is being done. Okay, I'll I'll be the trash can guard. Yeah, you might want to get a little longer hook. I'll just keep my emergency hook right here in case anything goes south. But I know you're a great handler, so it probably won't. So yeah, let's just take this bad boy out. I'm not even gonna give you any instruction on this. I'm just gonna let you do your thing and see how it goes. Here we go. Boom. Opening the cage up with the hook. Awesome. How you doing? And I'm just like, oh, what's up? Now he's a really good snake. He only really ever has a feeding response. But once he's out, for the most part, look, look at the size of him, Dude, man. Real man. I swear, he grows every time I see him. And he's got he's got a couple rats in him too. Fucking big he is. So I don't mess with him too much. Let's not mess with him a whole lot. Cause he just ate a meal the other day. Nice and smooth, 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 smooth. There you go, baby. Big cobra. Oh yeah. He takes see. up that whole bucket. Dude, he ate two large rats the other day. That's why he's so Let's fat. See that. <laughs> you can see, he is just, this whole part of his body right here is just super fat. Beautiful. Yeah, he's awesome. All right, let's get his cage cleaned up. So, what I want you to do is back of the body, right. pretty much behind that food right there. Just very easily just take him out. Right. Put him right back in the cage so we don't upset his stomach. There you go. Nice just like that. Smooth like that. Nice right into smooth. his cage. Very nice. Yeah, see all this food right here? Try not to agitate his stomach. Normally I try to plan cleaning. Normally I try to plan the cleaning according to when I feed them. That way they eat, they poop, and then we clean them. But I have my buddy Ryan coming over later today to check out the new setup over here. And Ryan and Kyle have a beautiful setup down south, or actually up north, 
that I've been to a few times. So I want I just want to make sure my room is super super clean when he comes over. So that's why we're cleaning today. Normally I wouldn't really move a snake around that just ate a meal yesterday or the day before, but today we're making a little bit of an exception just to make sure everything's clean. Nice and pretty. Alright, so next, what should we do next? Ah, oh, this guy. He's a jerk. Oh, you are such a jerk. <laughs> oh yeah, he's a he's a jerk. He's got shit all over him. Dude, what is going on? You're a freaking mess. All right. I don't want to deal with him, but I guess we got to. We got no choice. That head coming up out of the trash can like the bandit did would have been a bad story. Oh, yeah. No bueno. At least he like no bueno. usually so. This guy, not so much. Not so much. He comes. I don't like doing crazy setups of Cobras because you can see what just happened. I have a hide box in there and instead of him cooperating, he used the hide box as a little obstacle and got in the, got in the way of me and getting him out. All this paper, it's gross. A crazy freaking Cobra. Even though his color is basic, it's still very cool. I mean, he's a caramel monocle. Yeah. So he's got a little bit of a caramel yeah. You to him. Alright, so I sprayed his cage down. So that way it's nice and nice and wet. Maybe spray him a little bit more. Just get that shed on his skin right there. Boom. Way easier to get off. Get that shed off. He will be perfect. Alright. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Can I get you? We got Plus. our buddy Ryan here on, We're guys. from Primitive Predators. I don't know if you guys have seen the videos before, but I've gone up to them, played with their crocs, and they got all sorts of awesome animals up there. You guys are making a venomous room now. Yeah, so it's actually just done. We're going to be releasing the footage probably next week, and it's going to yeah. be something that no one's really seen before, so um, cool. it's going to be very interesting. So tune in and watch that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to go over and check that out, so stay tuned for that video, too. Yeah. But Ryan came over to see the new room. He was in the area, yeah. so... I want to show him a couple things he hasn't seen. He hasn't seen these baby black spitters yet, so I guess we'll... Yeah, you I haven't, haven't seen, seen them either. Yeah. So we should gear up, check out these black spitters, and then I want to show you the new baby king. Sweet. Because I haven't even taken him out since I've gotten him. So today will be good. Star Wars or something. <laughs> it's pretty sick. It's like uh, Mr. Helmet, you know? Is that space balls? Uh, yeah, <laughs> Mr. Yeah. Helmet. Sick. You guys ready? All right, so. Uh, the super glue is too. Snake hook. I need a snake hook. Long and slender. Slender. Just like your mom likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Get one of these little guys out. Now. Everything just ate recently too. You see how black these freaking things are? Hey, look how black this little cover is. He's so dope. Come here. A little flighty. They're definitely on the move. Jet black. But how cool is that, man? Dude, that's it's sick. a crazy little, crazy little cobra. Hey, man. Just they spit non-stop. Good little hitters, though. They're really shy. They're not really like. Uh, he doesn't really like to stand up. But don't spit at my camera, girl. You jerk. Oh, it's all over me. Is this a male <laughs> all over you? This is the boy. The boy. Yep. Got a little girl also. They're, they're the same size, so I'm just going to start power feeding them and get them up to... Oh my god. That was a good shot right there. Crazy. And they're just so on <laughs> point right for your eyes. They're super accurate. Like, the, the black and white spitters are not very accurate. That I don't think they can spit nearly as far. The red spitters, Polita, they're a little bit more accurate, but they're not as seldom to spit. These guys are the most accurate spitters I've ever dealt with so far. Like, they are super, super uh, strong streams. And like you're saying off camera, they're super flighty too. Like, they don't really want to sit there and like no. defend their, like stand their ground. They want to take off. Yeah, he wants to go hide. Away. He's just trying to go hide. So, they're not bad, not bad temperament covers at all. They just want to go hide and... Stay safe. Oh, I didn't spit in your face. Come here, little guy. I'll put you back in your cage. I won't mess with you. Thanks. Thanks for performing for us. 
Put your right back in there. Boom. Put your little hide box down. Watch out, I don't want to crush you. Thanks. Cool. Alright, let's wash all this venom off this. Alright, so the main event is the King Cobra. I'm gonna move everything out of the way. Got the cage up of the venomous room all situated. I'm just gonna get all these little things in the way because I honestly I have not taken, I was just telling Ryan, I have not taken the king out since I got him. I've been just letting him do his own thing in his cage, getting used to everything, not messing with him, not pissing him off. I want him to grow up to be a super happy, nice, awesome king. So I don't want to antagonize him and all that stuff. So let me close all these doors so we can safely check out this little king. Hopefully, I don't know how he's going to act, bro. We'll Hon see. Honestly. Yeah. Once he knew that I was going to feed him, he could smell the corn snake in here. I opened up the glass and he came right out hooded like fast. Did he stand there or did oh, he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. He's definitely super let's, alert. Let's see how this is. Yeah, so let's see. Let us see how he is today. I'm going to go like this. Ah, I can't wait to, I need to get some, some of those guides for this. It's really hard to slide this over which is kind of dangerous because you want to be able to open and close the cages as fast as possible especially with a crazy snake like this so let's go over here look at that hey little dude he is kind of a little layer All right the last one. hey bro you see how he's oh, yeah, just he like really stands. super alert stands right up Ooh. Come here. Hey, little guy. It's crazy. What's up, Russ? Oh, yeah. Right? Now, let me just safely put this hide box down. Hey. How are you doing? Now, you see this, like, super... See how he's got, like, this orange color on him? So awesome. And you're right, he does have, like, solid weight, too. Dude, yeah, he, like, he is a good-looking, healthy little cobra for... Sure. And you're feeding him corn snakes right now? Yeah, right now he's eating corn snakes. Um, the guy that I got him from was feeding him rodents, but apparently he was converted over to complete rodents. He was eating rat pups, but I tried giving him rat pups and a corn snake the other day. Or I tried giving him rat pups that were scented with a corn snake. He wanted nothing to do with it, so I just ended up throwing him in the corn snake, and he, dude, he, the second the corn snake was in the cage, he just ate it right up. Hmm. Didn't even hesitate. But dude, he is a badass looking little king. Like, he seems to be such a great hunter too. He really is. He's awesome. A little rusty. <laughs> very cool. Super alert. Very smart snakes. Yeah, he's got great body, dude. I'm, I'm stoked, man. Because the other king that I had, Ryan Gitman, got three of them in, and the other little king that I got was the smallest of the kings, and he was the worst eater. So I kind of got the end of the deal that's, of that snake. And baby kings that small are yeah, pretty hard really, to get established anyway. Exactly. Mm. He's already almost a year old, and he's eating super salt. You can see he's got great weight on him. Yeah. Even his tail is super yeah. thick. He's a super healthy looking little cobra. He's got some nice chevrons too back here. Right? For sure. And they'll get, hopefully they'll get more intense as he grows up. You can see those really faint stripes in him like he's smelling the carpet. He's like, what the hell? You smell more snakes on the carpet? He's so cool, though. Very, very inquisitive. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite thing about kings, man. They're just like, they think all the time. He's just like, scoping out the room. He's like, who the hell are these humans? I haven't seen them before. But he's dope, man. Like, he's pretty chill. Mm -hmm. Like, he is definitely a good cobra. Yeah, and he's not too flighty, either. You can't I was expecting him to be all over the place. Yeah. So was I, honestly, because when I fed him last, you should have saw how fast. I have it on... Actually, no, the first one I videotaped it. The second time, I actually didn't make a video of it. But, dude, last time I fed him, he came right out, like, super aggro, like, hungry. Dude, he ate a, he ate a corn snake that was almost as big as he was. Hmm. Which is, uh, tonight, really actually, I ran out of corn snakes. I don't even have any corn snakes right now to scent anything. So, tonight, uh, me, Jake, and Kayla are actually going to go road cruising, right? Oh, yeah. To my little, get some food. little secret spot of mine off of 27. Hey, dude. What a cool thing.
They love to steal a hook too. Right? He's like, yo, I'm gonna go up your hook. That's what's keeping you safe right now, so I'm gonna go right after it. He wants a jig. Keep doing it. Such a cool cobra, man. It's crazy, this cobra is going to get massive, and I cannot wait. I'm gonna give him a bigger cage soon, just cause he's gonna be like, super spoiled. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I wanna get him that six foot vision. Cause this, the vision that I have him in right now is perfect, perfect size, honestly for his age and his size, but I just want to put him in a bigger six footer just so he has even more space and can grow to be- He's not afraid kid. to go at you either. No, uh, hell no. Would you like to touch him? <laughs> He's such a cool little girl, right? I love how with Kings, if you just keep their focus on you, he has no idea that I'm even holding them. Right? Mm -hmm. That is the trick. And uh, the guy that I got him from had a pair. He got a female, same size. But they were also from the same clutch. Mm. So I just didn't want to do that. I mean, yeah, I would love to have a pair, but. Are you going to be looking for an unrelated female? Maybe. You know, if I could find a really good looking female that is about the same size down the line, mm -hmm. then yeah, I'll for mm -hmm. sure pull the trigger. But I'm not in any rush. I want to take my time with him, make sure he's a really cool king. Now, do you only want Malaysians, or are you going to try to get other species, too? Um, if I were to get another species, it would be, or another locale, it would, be, locale, a, yeah. uh, it would be a Chinese. I really like the Chinese kings. Yeah. I really like their bands. They don't get anywhere near as big as a Malaysian, but just the bands on those snakes with the real black with the white bands mm -hmm. is really, really cool. Now, I was doing some research. Did you... Do you know anything about like the mangrove Chinese that are in Thailand? They look so much like a or mangrove and they get kings bigger. in Thailand. Yeah, yeah and they get they look like a Chinese. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. I haven't I, seen any of those in the U.S. though. I like light colored snakes mm. to be honest with. Like mm. Indos, I've had a lot of Indo kings and in I've never had a Malaysian, but I've had a bunch of Indos in the past, and they're cool. It's a king cobra. Yeah, but like. I don't know. I feel like he's gonna be such a handsome looking snake. I just oh, yeah. Kevin. Kevin. Yeah. You, have you ever boy. seen Kevin in person? Mm -hmm. Dude, he's just. He's a beast. Too. He's such a pretty snake, though. Yeah. You know, he's so gold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I want. I want a super nice, light-colored yeah. king, massive. I want to be super chill. Yeah, I mean, dude, even Rusty's a, a little guy here, and he's super chill. So with yeah, he's not being bad. Five, six years on him, and yeah, ten feet chilling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely spunkier when they're younger. The older they get, the more they chill out. Cool. Yeah, these guys are awesome. Let's get him back in his cage. Hey, little Russ. Yeah, he hoods up great, too. There you go. Hey, man. You all right? You're okay? Yeah, what a badass. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine seeing like a snake like Kevin or like an 18-foot king cobra that's hooded up six feet in the air coming right at you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Staring it down. It's crazy. Yeah, it's a cool little setup for him right now, though. I'm going to spray his cage down since we got it open. Boom. All right. Nice. That is it. Yeah, dude, awesome. Thanks, for appreciate coming. it, man. I can't wait to come see the the new stuff. Yeah, we'll check, check it out. It's, uh, sure. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised yeah. by seeing it. I'm so you guys. definitely not work on Thursday. Yeah, so come on, come see that shit. Maybe uh, I'll bring you. Yeah, 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 man. I'd love to see that place. Let's you do. guys have been working hard, like nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> it's been uh, every month. Facility is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I had to get this cleaned up before Ryan came over because <laughs> their level is just like it's crazy. So. Stay tuned guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Go check out Ryan and Kyle's channel, Primitive Predators. I'll put the right link to everything guys. down below. Jake, good to have you back. Good to see everybody. I miss this guy so much. <laughs> I missed him. So, until next time. Uh, <laughs>